You know, a lot of people, they make a resolution to lose weight around the new year, but for some folks, they like to jump start it with maybe some weight loss surgery. So what are those options? Dr. John Matthews is from Baptist, uh, Princeton Baptist Medical Center. He joins us this morning to talk about one of those options. You know, I think a lot of people know about the gastric mm -hmm. bypass surgery by now, but uh, the newest thing is the gastric sleeve. So how is that different than the gastric bypass? How does it work? Right, that's a great question, Mike. So with the gastric sleeve, basically what you're doing is making the stomach, which holds about a liter, mm -hmm. only hold about 180 cc's. So okay. you're making stomach that's big right. into something that's much smaller. Okay, and, and that's different than the gastric bypass how? That's right, so the bypass is um, you actually create a small pouch where the food enters about the size of an egg. Okay. And then you bypass uh, maybe a fourth or so of the intestines. So not only you can't eat as much, but what you do eat isn't absorbed as well. Okay, and so then that, that could be a bad thing health-wise because you might want to lose weight, but you still got to get your nutrients on the uh, So if you had the gastric sleeve then, so how much weight could a person lose using that method? Yeah, so we think that, you know, best case scenario would be that somebody with a sleeve would lose almost as much weight mm -hmm. or as much weight as with a bypass. But there's no question they have to be more disciplined it, it is a little more difficult, it's a little bit slower, mm -hmm. whereas the bypass is almost an automatic, at least, for the first year and a half that you would, you would lose your weight. And when you're talking about each, what, what are some possible complications? So with the, uh, with the sleeve, complications are very rare. Maybe in a half a percent, there would be a leak, and a leak can be a serious complication. Okay. And then, of course, with a bypass, um, you know, also leaks are very, I mean, complications are very rare but you can have leaks and infection but uh, overall bariatric surgery in this country and especially uh, at our institution is safe okay and, and, and how long does it normally a procedure like that take and what's the recovery time so a sleeve can take it depends on whether you do it laparoscopically or robotically but generally speaking a sleeve takes about 40 minutes to an hour and 20 minutes whereas a bypass may take 60 minutes to an hour and a half. Okay, now, and I assume that even though you have this surgery, you really can't throw caution to the wind in terms of your diet, right? I mean, you still have to, right. yeah, so talk so, about that. Right, I like to, you know, tell patients that, you know, having weight loss surgery is kind of like, think of it like a wheel. I mean, your life is so much, it's spiritual, physical, mental, emotional, mm -hmm. and when you have bariatric surgery for a while, you don't have a choice. Right. Because you can't eat much. <laughs> right. But during that period of time is when you need to, you know, rediscipline your life and kind of look at all the various factors. And when we're preparing you for surgery, we try to, you know, begin that process as well. Right. Well, I mean, it's one of those things. Have you seen a huge increase in people opting for this type? Well, I think really um, since the gastric sleeve came along, I think for a while the band, the gastric band, you know, met, it helped in that area. These are people who are really afraid to have a bypass. Okay. And the sleeve, you know, the morbidity, the complications are less, and they're a little more likely to, if you tell them you're going to remove four-fifths of their stomach, and, but yet they're going to lose this weight, and the complications are low, and they're not going to be as hungry, yeah. then they really do, they, they seem to go for that. All right. Doctor, appreciate all the info. Thanks yes, so much. Sir. All okay. right. Thank you, Mike. All right. JJ's up next. JJ.